Hi there, Libra, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of March the 14th through to the 20th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Uh, before I get started, I would like to wish each and every one of you a very happy St. Patty's Day if you celebrate it. I always do. I love it. Favorite holiday. <laughs> so let's get started with your reading, Libra. First up, we have the Major Arcana Magician in the Upright, followed then by Major Arcana, the High Priestess. Followed then by the, no, it's the Hierophant. That's who it is. Okay. And uh, next card up is the Seven of Swords reverse, followed then by the Ace of Swords in the upright. And lastly, the Three of Pentacles in the upright. So let's get started on your reading here, my dears. The overall energy is that of Magician in the upright position. You could be magic this week, Libra, or feeling like magic, or very much in the zone. The magician in the upright comes up when we're in that in that right place where we feel there's something we want to manifest. Now, for some of you, it could be a relationship. For others of you, it could be a job. It could be a home. It could be friendships. It could be all kinds of things, right? A new career. Uh, you're going into business for yourself. Whatever the situation is, looks like you're kind of just putting the blinders on right now. You're... Um, uh, solar plexus is activated big time your you know the yellow the activation here is really just beaming and that indicates that your confidence is strong your focus is good this week and you're going to be in full manifestation mode so very focused now again it's a general read so whatever you're focused on is going to vary between you like i said some of you could be job could be money could be apartment it could be a relationship right we could go on and on and on but we won't right at the beginning of the week we have the hierophant in the upright position is this what you've been manifesting or wanting to manifest is a contract of some sort the hierophant uh, governs it can be about marriage definitely maybe some of you are um, you know planning on getting married getting hitched this week or planning on proposing this week or something like that could just could be making a commitment some of you could just be making a commitment to a relationship committing to like signing a lease together or moving in together others of you this could be about uh, joining a new spiritual group or a new congregation for church. It could be others of you signing a contract for a term position, especially if, if you work for a school or you work for the government, term position could be offered to you. So others of you could be, like I said, signing a lease or signing some type of contract that you're committing to, to do this, to go through, whether it's school, whether it's work, what have you. The next card up is the Seven of Swords in the reverse position. Well, you're no longer avoiding something. Maybe you're no longer avoiding making this commitment or, you know, signing this contract. <clears throat> Seven of Swords in the upright position can point to a little bit of sketchy behavior going on. Could be someone around you who has, you know, been less than honest, trying to make a way. Uh, this is known as the sneak thief that tries to, you know, take your ideas, you know, steal something, what have you. But when the card is reversed, this can indicate the thief gets caught or the sketchy behavior is no more. So now this is about dealing with something or confronting something head on. So if it's right beside a commitment card, it could definitely represent for some of you, you're no longer um, avoiding dealing with signing this contract or making this commitment to something or somewhat moving on towards the weekend we have the ace of swords in the upright position ace is always usher in some kind of new beginning for you libra this could be a new beginning in communication this is also the sort of victory as well it could be uh, clarity for some of you perhaps you're uh, feeling very clear about how you speak or how others are speaking to you. Perhaps you're just seeing or clearing the air. Some of you could just be clearing the air of old communication or old debris. You're just like, okay, let's forget about that because we're moving on to something new. Um, others of you, this could be a brand new idea that comes to you out of the anti-cosmos. It's just like, boom, you know, like a lightning bolt. It's like, yes, I like this idea. Um, others of you could be a new 
ways of communicating. Some of you could be taking up a new career that involves communication, either verbal or written communication. Some of you could be writing a book or, for example, writing a book or, you know, doing a podcast or something like that that requires communication. Um, I don't know what's going on. Again, it's just a general read. This is what I'm seeing in your cards here. The last card we have is the Three of Pentacles in the upright position. Well, this is a card that represents cooperation that comes from others. So perhaps for some of you, you have a new idea, perhaps, or uh, new clarity, or new forms of communication. You're communicating it to other people in the group, and everybody's working together beautifully. Maybe you have a new idea that's being implemented, and everybody else is on board with this idea. Whatever this is about, this is about cooperation. It could be in the home could be in your business or career again it just depends on your situation but it looks like you're you know you're you, you are definitely in manifestation mode at this point you are the magician you want to you know put it out there you want to direct things much like a conductor or a director <laughs> you're just wanting to bring everything together because you've decided to make this commitment now so interesting reading please do tell in the comment section below if this resonated for you and how so because inquiry minds want to know <laughs> that's what i have for you i really hope the reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and i will see you next week bye bye for now